Welcome to IS 460 and 560. I'm Professor Fahmi Jalani. Today we'll be covering Chapter 4 on Leadership and the Project Manager. So what is a leader? So basically a leader must have the um, confidence to ins inspire um, the people under him and not only that uh, he has must have the ability to support the people uh, in order to achieve uh, their goals in this case to complete the project okay. as most of us would have heard uh, lead by example for example okay uh, uh, it could be a political leader uh, or president for example or in this case a project manager uh, leader versus manager uh, manager as we all know they have a title and they get paid for that title and their role uh, leader on the other hand uh, has interpersonal relationship in this case soft skill um, sometimes um, the staff that is working on the same on the project could have the same uh, seniority or maybe experience or maybe more experience and the, the leaders must be able to able to uh, compromise or negotiate uh, to everyone uh, in order to complete the project and also uh, basically to make sure they understand uh, what's the purpose of the project okay uh, leader needs to have network or connection uh, between the members or maybe other groups okay this is to basically to help the project uh, finish quickly or smoothly for example without any red tape or any obstacle uh, must be focused on the time frame and uh, what's the outcome uh, of the project regular outcome he needs to know uh, and, and also executing the project okay uh, which is executing the task so how does a project manager leads? Uh, here is basically a, uh, a small CEO, basically a small boss or a small guy running his own small company in a big company. Okay. Uh, he has to manage both technical and also soft skill which I mentioned earlier. Yeah. Uh, okay. A project manager must ensure that there is enough funding, for example, uh, in terms of uh, body, uh, in terms of uh, technical expertise, okay, manpower. Okay, uh, he needs to motivate and build a team uh, to make them work together uh, to prevent any office, for example, uh, office politics or disagreement. Okay, uh, also. Uh, he has a vision uh, in order to complete the project uh, and be able to fight fires for example if there's any uh, disagreement or any uh, fights in, within the team member and he's a good communicator uh, some problems that we face uh, under funded project okay uh, basically vague goals where uh, timeline uh, keep delaying okay we, we you can see some projects for example buildings are being left uh, not completed for example okay uh, with no goals okay and there's no sponsor and uh, for example the fund funding keep running out okay and uh, uh, requirement understated that 
for example uh, there's let's say 100 items to do and they only list out 10 okay. uh, it's an insufficient fund not enough money distrust between the managers okay. sometimes manager uh, get carried away and the money get uh, being miscellaneous disappear for example Uh, which sometimes we hear uh, in a lot of cases, uh, for example, uh, FTX, uh, Sam, Brick, Sam Bankman, uh, where he 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 owns a uh, Bitcoin and, and they lost about three point four billion dollars. Uh. Um, communication is very critical, okay? um, and uh, managers need to communicate regularly. Uh, with the uh, team members, they are very task oriented, and maybe sometimes they are uh, hands on. Right? And he needs to be transparent uh, in terms of the progress of the project, uh, in terms of completion, uh, any problem, any issue. And also, at the same time, understandable uh, and Uh, in terms of, for example, team member have uh, personal issue, for example, okay, and he's committed to the project. Uh, only that he has to make decision, uh, very accurate and very uh, fast decision. And so, like I mentioned, is initially uh, transparent, uh, provide visibility. Uh, traits of effective leaders. Uh, mentioned earlier, good communication. Uh, how he communicate with the email or text or could be a group message, uh, could be face to face. Okay, how he communicate it uh, during office hour, or after office hour, things like that. Okay, um, if somebody does certain things that's not appropriate or wrong okay. he, there must be a way to consult the person okay. uh, flexibility and ambiguity um, a project manager might not be so strict and uh, there are times where he will bend the rule uh, it's a people person where he works well with everybody uh, and he's, he has his way to influence people Okay, to give motivation, uh, especially in promoting the project. Leading and timeline orientation alignment, for example. So, uh, everybody, every team member will have a view of the timeline orientation. Okay, for example, uh, what's the completion date? What have they done? Okay, uh, what's the future? Uh, how long will they complete certain stage, certain phases? Uh, time concept, poly, more chronic okay. uh, skills for example uh, wrapping okay, uh, technically summarizing uh, the project what needs to be done uh, creating a vision uh, tracking time, dividing the task uh, predict, predicting when is it complete uh, and based on its last uh, experience, okay, how will it proceed for the next uh, completion of the project? Project champion, uh, so to champion the project, technically to complete it on time, uh, project, project manager might have an ideal uh, vision, for example, a, a pet ideas. Uh, could be creative originator through his experience or his knowledge okay, he could have, have creative way to in order to complete the project okay. uh, entrepreneur okay, uh, thinking on, or doing things outside the box okay. godfather somebody who might be guiding him or her okay. uh, funding versus sponsor 
some of the rules uh, if the project is requiring to be technical you need to be have understanding uh, not only he has to do it he doesn't have to do it but at least he has a technical understanding for example if you have a software project okay, the manager must have understanding for example programming okay. uh, leadership skill okay, coordinating and control Obtain resources administrative. Uh, non traditional in this case, for example, cheering, good saying good positive remarks, good job, well done, okay. uh, visionary, uh, politician with, uh, I would say, not taking sides, uh, risk taker, ambassador. So in terms of creation, uh, project manager needs to encourage eh, and identify a uh, team member that have certain skill, okay, and from there encourage, uh, reward them, okay. Uh, or the, for example, the emotion, the achievement, for example. Uh, new project leaders, okay. Um, in terms of appreciation, okay. Uh, project manager should ha uh, have uh, values in order to appreciate what their team member achieve. For example, how small or how difficult it is uh, to achieve the outcome. Uh, a reminder of the what's important, yeah. Uh, and also, you need to trust your team member in order to complete the project, okay, and which is aligned to the vision of the project. So professionalism, okay, uh, there must be a standard, okay, uh, because a company should follow certain standards, uh, for example, ethics. Uh, for example, uh, not trying to replicate something that is pattern. For example, you need to ask permission. Uh, team member needs to have skill upgrade. For example, uh, soft learning new software uh, if it's been introduced, and also a dedicated career path where at least there is confirmation that. Uh, their team member will at least be secure in their position after they completed uh, the project. And last but not least, uh, okay. uh, team members should uh, have the right personality in order to complete the project. For example, they would love to, to do the project or they love to work with other people okay. and I thought that as they create the project uh, there should be a training program built uh, at the same time once the project is completed they are able to uh, train other people to use the, the new product for example uh, reward system could be monetary, uh, could be promotion, for example, okay, and also career path, for example, it could be promotion, for example. So, that's in a bit uh, about project management, chapter 4. Uh, if you have any question, uh, please feel free to email me. Uh, stay warm and stay safe. Thanks, bye.